Sheets, lead engineer for Alpha Sound here in Oregon. And today I'd like to tell you about a little trick that I use to get lots of gain out of the low frequencies of instruments. A little bit about the system we have here. We have a Yamaha CL5 at front of house. We are using the Nexo STM line array system in conjunction with the S118 subwoofers. And here we have them configured in cardioid because that helps a lot to get gain out of instruments. We put the microphones in the null spot on the stage and so we have a nice little pocket where there's no bass to try to pick up low frequencies and get gain out of it. And that works pretty well when you're close miking instruments. However, a lot of times, like with the taiko drums, we have a stage filled with taiko drums and we can't individually mic any of them. So we have to rely on area mics that we put around the perimeter of the stage, sometimes even 10 or 20 feet away from the instruments. Now how are you going to get low frequency gain out of that when you bring those mics up, and especially when the mics are right next to the subwoofers, in the cardioid spot or not. What we've done is we have a processing trick that I'll tell you about. What I do is I take an extra aux on the mixer I'm not using, like an effects send, and I put a low pass on that aux at about 100 hertz, and then I run that through a pitch shifter. Now the signal gets pitch shifted from 100 hertz and down, down to 50 hertz and down. That I run to the subwoofers. Now the subwoofers reproduce the sound, and then it, of course, naturally gets picked back up by the microphone. There's a feedback loop. But that gets pitch shifted down again from 50 hertz down to 25 hertz and down. And at that point, we're lower than what the subwoofers can even reproduce. So it just gets lost, and we don't experience it. So what this does, for example, here I have a condenser microphone, and I'm just going to turn it up wide open. You can already see that even just the rumble from the wind noise is coming through the subwoofers. I have this microphone cranked. There's no high-pass filter, nothing on it. Here, let me tap on it. So as you can see, there's no feedback. It's perfectly clear. And it's a really great trick. And that allows us to put these microphones all around the stage, pick up the Tyco drums, feed a little bit of that into the subs, put some reverb on it, and it's an absolutely incredible sound. You have to use it tastefully because it can sound a little bit weird in some situations, but if you dial it in, it's amazing. So give it a try.